Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. I'm Rick Ward. Thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. We got a special guest over there. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh, there. I didn't mean to cut. I was supposed to do this. Oh, it's still not working. There. Hey. 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 Jen and Alex, the Mountain Borders. Hey, Jen. Hey, hey, Kenny. Hey. It's Friday. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at this. Jen is big. Look at this. Or this way. Look at this. Ah! Yeah. Uh, we made it back to the weekend. Yes, we did. I used to say um, that it's the freaking weekend, you know? Like, but. Now it's R. Kelly is bad, I guess. Yeah. You know? Because of the whole peeing incident? No, the, no. He's had, it's, it's worse. It's worse now. Oh, no. He no, like was like uh, charged with criminal charges of some kind. And now oh. I think he's in jail or something. Oh. He's not in jail yet. Oh, yeah? He's going to go to trial for... Like sexual misconduct, basically. Yeah, with like a bunch of minors. Yeah. That's he was running like a sex cult. Yeah. Sex cults are cool, but you have to be of consenting age. Yeah, look out. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, Friday, so it's the regular weekend, no longer the, the freaking weekend, I guess. Um, how are you? Good, thanks. Doing real good. Got out of work early and uh, just got lucky and saw you guys. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Uh, I had a good day of work too, and I was running late, so that's why you saw us. <laughs> I thought, uh, I think we're, we're right on time. Everything worked out, so. Yeah, I agree. How are you doing today, Kenny? I'm good too. I also am just getting off of work, and now it's the, the after. Yeah, this is what yeah. I do after. I got some pizza. Nice. It's the, the 5th of July. Did you, uh, we were all at the same event yesterday. I saw Jen there, but we were trying to find you, Alex, but uh, we didn't cross paths. Yeah, I think I was up at the front watching him shred the national anthem, like, thing. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. It was only, like, uh, half national anthem and half um, shredding. It yeah. Was perfect. <laughs> it's like, they play, like, three notes, like, yeah, for, like, a while. Yeah. It's a national anthem long, but I like that, yeah. It's yeah, it was cool. Hendrix anthem. Yeah. It was how he did it. No, I, it was, we went to the Tumwater Valley fireworks. I've been to the, the fireworks, but I've never actually been to that event before. Like, with all the uh, booths. Yeah. That yeah, was cool. I liked it. A lot more people than I thought there was going to be. Yeah, they said there was 19,000 people that turned out. Wow. Yeah, and like last, year, last year was like maybe like 12. And t years past, I remember the number hovering around like 10 or 11, wow. kind of like that. So I think it grew a bit. 19,000, I yeah, guess? Yeah, because they keep a count. They have somebody hitting a clicker for all the heads going through the gates. Oh, yeah. And so they just kind of keep tabs that way. And that clicker goes up to 19,000? I don't know. Yeah, no, that's just, I heard the announcement. The mayor was talking about it. It's the, yeah. it's the 19th year of the event, and there was 19,000 people. Mm, that sounds a little bit too convenient. Can you, can, you, uh, <laughs> can you trust those kids with those clickers? Yeah. Hey, it was my... They're just like... Ah! <laughs> I don't know. It was my Uncle Charlie out there, so he had the clicker, so... Oh, you got... I saw him. I was walking by and I saw him and I was yeah. like, hey. yeah, 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 you're really on the pulse of the city, huh? Yeah, he's not really my uncle, but he's close enough. Oh, yeah. Do you know the mayor? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I knew you were going to. And Melissa also said that you were going to be up there for a little bit. We hear, oh, and now 
to do a speech, Mayor Pete. And we were, yep. we were all just like, yeah, and Alex is going to be staying up there because yeah. he's chilling for Mayor Pete for sure. Yeah, I was standing. I, I got up to the front where they have the all the music and lights and stage and all that and DJ and stuff right as the DJ quit and got out of there. And then uh, the mayor hopped up there and all of the crowd had walked off. So I was like pretty much the only one just standing there right in the front watching him. <laughs> and, then the, and then the... And then the the Star Spangled Banner, or National Anthem. I couldn't tell which one it was. I think they switched back and forth or something. They did. That's the same song. Star Spangled Banner, Banner National Anthem. They did um, oh. America the Beautiful, I think. You're thinking maybe. Oh. Yeah, because they did America the Beautiful first, I think. Or was it the America the Beautiful? I think that was the song they did first. And uh, I had taken off my hat and started doing the thing, and I was like, wait, this is not the National Anthem. <laughs> But then he played the national anthem next, Star Spangled Banner National Anthem. I think it's like our national anthem is the Star Spangled Banner. So, oh. you know, okay. it's like the national anthem, but the song is called Star, Star Spangled Banner. And they're like, you know, I know that Canada has a national anthem. Those are the only two I know. Hmm. Oh, Canada. Yeah, oh, Canada. Is, See, that one makes a little bit more sense. I mean, I don't mean to be unpatriotic, but our, our national song, a song that's supposed to represent a country, is just about a flag. It's, it's about, not about, like, it's the about people. It's about seeing the flag in battle. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I like the song. I mean, it's a good yeah. song and everything. It's just funny that it's just about a flag and not about, like, well, the actual... I think the flag is a metaphor for the people. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. What's it called? I don't remember what I was going to say. Yeah, it was fun. I liked it. Uh, you know, like, are you going to vote for the mayor? Is it coming up soon? I know that uh, the local ones, or Olympia, is uh, city council people are starting to campaign. Yeah, no, he ran last year and won by, like, an 80% margin. Mm. Yeah, he slayed the competition. It's, like, his fourth or fifth term in a row, though. He's probably going to die in office because everybody likes him. Yeah, the mayor we can just be a mayor forever. Yeah, I think it's up to the municipalities themselves to set term limits if they want to. Mm. So I think a lot of them don't, you know, bother. You ever try running for the city council, Alex? You seem to be on it. Yeah. No, I have not, but um, it's it's definitely something that looks like a lot of fun and might be might be a good deal to get into, you know, a couple years or something. I tell, I tell the Mayor Pete all the time I'm going to be gunning for his job one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're, you're already a judge on the thing, the uh, how'd that go? Oh, it was cool. Yeah, I got to judge the mounted drill teams for the parade again. And so, it's, yeah, it's silly. I don't know nothing. Yeah, horses. Yeah, I don't know nothing about horses. <laughs> and the funniest part, too, it's like, so I think, you know, I think to myself every time that there's like these serious horse people, they really dedicated to, it's like their whole deal, and then they show up to this thing, to the parade to get, and then they go through their judgment, and this like long-haired, like hippie <laughs> skate, like kid comes out and, you know, is their judge. I don't know. I just, I, I just think yeah. about, I try to put myself in their head for two seconds each year when I, <laughs> when I show up. And uh, it, yeah, it was extra bad this year. I had my skateboard sitting there next to me yeah. and everything. So yeah, it was great though, really fun. And the, 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 uh, my partner was a parks commissioner. So I sat there and got a good chance to chew her ear off about putting in a skate park in Tumwater oh, yeah. as soon as possible. Um, what did they do on the horses? Uh, so they pretty much kind of do like their little maneuvers. They'll have like a, a, a mini routine set up, you know, so they'll have a couple of steps, you know, choreographed for their parade performance deal. And so they just go through that and then we just take like, a look at it. And do they like, you know, maybe like stand on the horse, like on their back and no, do kind of crazy? I, I haven't seen anything like that. No, typically they just kind of do little formations and wave and... So yeah, what, pretty mellow. the horse wave. So how did you judge what's better? Like, what did the winner do that the, the, the other ones didn't do in your opinion? Okay, so some of the criteria is, like, um, based on performance. So, you know, the, you know, clean um, maneuvers, you know, no, everybody's in step, you know? Yeah. And then some of it's based off of, like, how they look. So, you know, the most spirit, stuff like that. <laughs> well, you're just nice. like, that one's clean. That one not so clean. You just, you just think 
is you get to decide. That's yeah, you know, and so that. there's a there's a grand sweepstakes prize and a sweepstakes prize, and then there's like a, a prize for um, the youth teams, and then there's also a separate prize this year for the pooper scooper squad that did that that we liked the best. Mm, do you think that the winner was like? clearly the winner like anybody would be like that's definitely the winner or was it like close it was well it was pretty pretty cut and dry this time yeah the the teams definitely fell right into place you know my partner and i agreed and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cool yeah and you were in the parade too you, you both were in the parade yeah it was um us and two uh, three three other people were in the vehicle Mm -hmm. And it has all the decals from Mount Forts Northwest and everything on the side. And we rode all the way through town with everybody. We were in front of the Rochester High School marching band. Mm -hmm. And we were right behind a tractor. And we killed it. We were just, yeah. uh, we, we were high-fiving some people, high-fiving each other, and just mm -hmm. having a great time. And everybody really enjoyed it. And it was a great thing. Did you do the elbow, 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 wrist, wrist wave? That's the, I can't, I don't know if I'm doing it very well. I did a lot of, uh, I, I probably did that at some point. I know for sure I did a lot of points. Like, <laughs> hey! Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. finger, finger guns? Yeah, yeah, I know there was a finger gun <laughs> yeah. that happened for sure. I do that one a lot, so I know somebody finger gunned. Was, yeah. 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 I spent a lot of time like waving at the little kids, so I'd like wave down here like really <laughs> fast, like "Hey, little guy!" And they get all super pumped, they're like "Yeah!" Yeah. And then you do like do like flips in front of like old people, and they get so excited. They're like, oh. it's like yeah. "Yeah!" I like the parades. Uh, it's like you get to not that you're not doing anything spectacular, but you just cheer like extra hard no matter what. Like, even if somebody's walking by, you don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> like, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> like, and they're, they're excited, too. They get, it's just like, this is fun. It was, a, it was a real experience being in that. It was so great. I think the best part, though, is when they, they read everything off. That was when I was like, oh, yeah. I was already super pumped, but that made it, like, that was the icing. Yeah, you're rolling by the end, and they're just announcing... You know, reading off the little deal and right in front of the cameras, everybody's cheering. It's really, that was pretty rewarding. They were like, oh, and here comes the mountain borders. Oh. We were like, ah, yeah. Yeah. It's like Macy's, they have like guys on the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, and I got to write the part that they read too. So when you fill out your application to be in the parade, you like write the little spiel. Yeah. Yeah, so. What? What was that? Uh, it was something to the effect of, like, mountain boards northwest. They've been promoting the sport of mountain boarding in Tumwater for five years and, you know, uh, do community outreach and adopt a Trosper Road and they're all a bunch of kick-ass guys and whatnot. So, I don't know, stuff like that. Yeah. That was good. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty much just yeah. a bit. We'll have to watch the TCTV uh, yeah. footy oh, when, yeah. when, it come, when it airs. Didn't get them to say, like, that, uh, what's your, like, copyrighted phrase or whatever? Like, uh... Oh, yeah, I didn't put that on there. Less bitching, more boarding. Yeah, yeah. yeah less bitching, no more boarding. <laughs> <laughs> that probably would have got some cheers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was so great. Yeah, I've been toying with the idea of jumping into the parade, like, all five years, like, since 14 when I got it together. But uh, it's just, you know, I haven't pulled it together till this time. I never been to the parade. I should have gone to the parade because... Uh, I was surprised at how fun that, that uh, big event was, and I've never been to it before all these years. I've only I've been going to the cemetery this whole time. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I didn't even realize that there was an official big event like that. Yeah, they call it Thunder Valley, or Thunder in the Valley or yeah, something. Yeah, it was Thunder in the Valley. Yeah. That spot is so crazy. It's like, a, I guess it's a golf course. Mm hmm But, like, it's crazy that there's such a giant field just like right there that you could go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the driving range. Yeah, that's oh. what Tony was saying. He was saying, oh, that's the driving range. Because so I was saying the same thing. I was like, so they only use this space just for this? Yeah. 
Because it seemed like it. Like, that's how it, like, seems, but now it makes sense that it was, like, the driving range. Yeah, it's a trip, too, like, because they, they have you parked down on the brewery property, like, in the by the old warehouse buildings and by the, on the train tracks and stuff. It's like you never get to go down there until, you know, just once a year. Yeah. It's kooky. It's kind of cool, though. Yeah. Well, and and as an extra bonus, getting stuck in the traffic trying to get the hell out of there for an hour. So yeah. you really get to take it in. Yeah. Did that happen to you? Oh, yeah. My wife wanted me to drive, and so, yeah, sat in a lot of traffic about, like, five minutes from my house. <laughs> yeah. I rode around for a while because mm-hmm. I was, like, just waiting. I, like, couldn't go. I couldn't keep following you guys. Like, I couldn't go right. Like, it just got cut off, and I was like, ah, oh, oh, yeah. crap. All right, well, I'm going to have to go this way. So I went left, and then I went all the way back to the place, and I was like, all right, you know, they'll be here. And I was like, no, they're not. I'm like, I just saw, like, literally no cars leaving, so I know it's going to take a while, so I just cruised a little bit. You know, we were mm, on bikes, mm-hmm. and then we just biking faster than all the cars. Yeah, moms with strollers were going faster than the cars. Yeah. Yeah, it was, there was a lot of people complaining about us being on bikes, and I had, like, the scooter. They were just like, they're like, oh, that must be nice. Just dipping by them, like, ha, huh, see yeah. ya. They were um, sour. They were unhappy that they were going. Well, they, they brought the car. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. And then the, everybody, I guess 19,000 people had to go through this gate that was, like, maybe, like, eight feet wide. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that was pretty wild. I've never been in such a crowd. It's a really, like, it's a, it's a lot of biomass to try to direct, you know, yeah. a lot of sentient biomass to move around and convince to do what, you know, what you want them to do. Everybody was very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, can I, you know, cause a riot? Be like, fire! <laughs> you know? Or anything like that, and just, uh, it's like the call of the void, you know, when you walk by a tall building, and you're like, maybe I'm going to jump off this building. But you uh, see this crowd, you're like in the middle of a giant crowd, you want to see if you can, like, start a, a stampede of people. <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, everybody getting, getting crushed and stuff, so it's nice that everybody worked together to not crush each other. Mm. Yeah. I was, like, almost out, and then... I hit up, hit up Freddy because I was trying to find you guys. And he was like, oh, yeah, we're still in here. And I'm like, okay, well, let me go all the way back. So I fought my way back up the stream of people and then <laughs> went yeah. all the way over to you guys. And, like, in retrospect, I would I should have just went out the way I was going and then went over. It would have been way faster. But I didn't do that. Yeah. All Next right. Next time. Fourth of July. Now it's the fifth of July. Uh, I think we're now we're in, like, the... The no holiday season until uh, what's next? July, August, September, November, Thanksgiving, all the way in Thanksgiving. There's On like August m- nights. Memorial Day or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. Or is it Labor Day? Uh, Labor Day. Labor Day. I mean, there's like. That's next month, right? There's like some holidays, but. There's, there's no... There's October holiday, whatever it is. That's Halloween? Halloween. That's, yeah, that that's, one. The, that's after... Which, <laughs> that's after... Wait, uh, oh, October. Oh, yeah. So it's all the way to Halloween is the next one? Next big one. It's like... We got them all condensed into like... It's like November to July. Lots of holidays. And then July, it's like August, September, October. It's like three months... No. They're like they're like, oh, it's hot. You don't need any any extra days off. Yeah. They're like, well, they still oh, have days off, but Memorial Day, you don't. Yeah. Do anything spe- I guess like, you can still kind of kind of works around here though, because you know, like from like July to August to like the early part of September is really the only time it's like more or less guaranteed to be pretty damn nice outside. So it's like there's already some celebration type stuff happening in that respect. You can just go out and re- enjoy being out. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need a specific holiday. You don't need some stupid excuse to have, them, to have the society try to cram some fun down your throat for one day. Yeah. And call it something stupid. Well, it's like everybody has the fun on the same day, though. Or it's like the whole war, or I mean, I guess the whole country or whatever. But it's like, 
No, we have fun now, now. And you're like, whoa. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's like on like the like shopping that what's that Black Friday? They're like you all oh, have to buy, go shopping today, now, now, and then on Christmas you have to go give the shit away. Yeah, right. That's like Wednesday now. They moved Black Friday to Wednesday, pretty much. You're like now nah, I'm broke. It's like yeah. Uh, on another note, though, I saw on on my way here, I just saw um somebody with uh. They had like their whole mouth and like lower jaw was like blue like they'd been eating paint it looked like they were eating paint and then they didn't have any like teeth uh-huh. and then they were like blue all their whole face was blue and they were talking to somebody and they were really happy seeming but it looked like something bad happened to them but they were, had a really big smile and they were walking down the street and it was like bright blue not like not like they are uh, Necrotic. Like they were eating ten lollipops or something like huh. Kool Aid or something. It was, or it looked like it was very like solid though. It was more than like candy. So it looked like paint. It looked like they were just ha- eating paint and they were really happy about it. Spilled fifteen packets of blue Kool Aid on themselves. Yeah, I would mean, think it would be the Kool Aid, but it was like, uh, like, not translucent it looked like it was on there like not like it was just stained like his, yeah. his skin wasn't stained it was, it like, was like on there it was like thick maybe it looked like paint i can hope that it was some kind of food he was chugging protein shakes yeah and they were they were very happy like too happy <laughs> like, ah, like whoa <laughs> so maybe maybe they were a street performance artist and that was performance art. They were doing a good job of, of uh, blending in, though, because they were otherwise very dirty. I mean, their face was dirty, too, but they looked like they were a street person getting into something weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> street, street people doing street people things. Yeah. I don't want to be like, do you need help? <laughs> like, can I help you with anything? And usually they don't need help. Yeah, they're like, no, I'm totally fine. I'm you're like, really you, fine. You're like, are you sure? Because <laughs> it looks like you've been eating paint. Like, yeah, right. Like you've been eating. What are you eating? Uh, yeah, I wanted to stop, stop them. Like, hey, what? What is? What's going on? Like, why are you doing? What are you doing? But There's definitely times that like I I want to ask people questions to here in downtown, but I just don't. I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Oh. They were uh, also giving out, I saw the Christians giving out uh, lunches, bags of food to the, to the street people, too. Nice. Just now. Do you think that guy uh, uses sauce with his nuggets? The blue face guy? Yeah. Raspberry? Blue raspberry <laughs> sauce? <laughs> I don't know, He's one paint. He's probably uh, he probably likes uh, a good sauce with his nugget. They're having a good time. Probably, yeah, actively high instead of like uh, looking. You can tell. I have a scenario. Maybe somebody was like a dare, and they were like, "Drink all this paint, and I'll give you some drugs." <laughs> yeah. And they did, and they were like, "Yeah," telling their friend, "They're like, dude, I'm so ripped right now." <laughs> Yeah. You see, uh, street stuff, when was the last time you were here? Like a week ago, last week? Uh, I think it was last Saturday. Yeah, what was it? Was it last Saturday? Let me look at the tape. I don't know. Um, I don't remember what we did. I did thought we were, we were here like, yeah, like twice like last week. Like Tuesday, Saturday. Did you prepare for your uh, parade? No. No, we totally winged it. Mm. Totally looked like we prepared, though. I washed my car. Preparation. Yes, that counts. I mean... And it was the car was in the parade? Yeah, my, <clears throat> my around-the-town everyday vehicle was, was our float. Who was driving? My dad. 
Mm. He was stoked. I don't think he'd ever been in a parade either. She was all like, no, he was thought it was pretty damn cool. I'm always, I'm always afraid that one of those cars is gonna slip gears or something and run over people. I guess I'm always thinking about that whenever I see a big crowd. Uh, I'm thinking about it because I thought that was going to happen with the people that uh, they're just going to start pushing. And then I also think of that about the cars. Hmm. Yeah. So you are really into doom. I guess. Well, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm, maybe I'm just concerned. I'm not into it. I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm like, oh, this could, hopefully this goes well. I'm looking for the... Uh, the message of the future tape, it's uh, not labeled well, it says Pocahontas. Oh. Uh, see right here. There it is, yeah. Ooh. Should probably label it better, but I know what it is at least. Oh. Hey, Freddy. Oh, Freddy's just calling us. Freddy. Awesome. We got some messages actually, too. Thanks, Freddy. Freddy, Freddy. It's like I'm out front. <laughs> yeah, well, Freddy has the keys, so... No, I know. It doesn't oh, make yeah. any sense. Here we go. Yeah, I changed it so uh, we don't get, like, calls. You have to leave a message. I dig it. Yeah. yeah I think it works better, really, in, over most of the time. 23 hours a day, it works better. Because now he, uh, you don't have to listen to a lot of ringing like this. Hey, hey, program. Hey, Freddy, how are hey. you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Good. Um, uh, I'm here. Cedar is in town. Okay, Cedar and Maribel are here. Uh-huh. Uh, I was calling you. I heard that you guys had some um, black metal mountain borders there. Yeah. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Freddy. Hi, Freddy. What's going on? Hello. Just enjoying the time. Talking fireworks. I just want to. Maybe I also wanted to tell you my uh, opinion about fireworks. I don't know. I hope I'm not interrupting anything on the program. Nope. Last night I uh, <clears throat> I got a new maybe epiphany about fireworks. Uh, work. We called you. What? We called you back. You know? I know. Well, so if you're I'm sure you guys were talking about something before you called me back. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure what I it was. I called you, and then you saw the message, oh, and then yeah. you called me back. But if it was, like, you know? interrupting you, it's like you call somebody else, and you say, Hey! What? I'm, I'm, ta- I'm doing something! <laughs> <laughs> like, you called me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I think last night, while I was watching the uh, fireworks at the Tumwater... Uh, Somewhat a golf course, I realized that fireworks are like a abstract art, like performance art thing, you know? It's like a non-representational form of like visual art that yeah. is like, mm-hmm. I actually think it's like a pretty important concept like in it, and it's like expression that has like a lot of, like holds a lot of heavy human ideas inside of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's super old too. It, it's old? Oh yeah, it's a super old art form. The Chinese were the ones who invented it like way, way back. Yeah, that's true. And like, I, sometimes people are like, "Oh, this like is like Fourth of July fireworks. It's like, it's like a representation of war or something." I don't really even like quite. I mean, I can see how people like say that, but I think that further back, that doesn't make any sense. It was like Chinese New Year. It was like it was like a. It was like a celebratory visual display, rather. It, I don't think it was at all, like, kind of trying to, like... I think it was, like, even... I mean, obviously, like, fireworks themselves predated, like, explosive, violent things. Yeah, they were... They became violent later on. Yeah. yeah. Because they are violent. I mean, I think that's part of the art form, too, is, like, if you accidentally, like, trying to shoot off a firework, you can blow something up and, like, lose some fingers or, like worse yeah. you know set a fire off or I whatever have all my fingers. but like i have all my fingers too 2019 10 fingers still got all 10 digits <laughs> 2019 still got 10. july july 5th <laughs> the counting your fingers day yeah, that's like the day yeah july 5th is finger appreciation day, <laughs> finger appreciation <laughs> day. yeah 
<laughs> but like it's like it happens really fast fireworks shows they happen really fast they have a lot of people there usually they uh they're kind of boring in this insane way where it's like literally fire exploding in the sky but you're like you're like it's not like exciting in like other weird ways like it's like kind of monotonous but different it's like life in so many ways it's like they're exploding it's like fast fire it's like it, it's dangerous it's loud um and then it's like over too soon but you kind of like you get like it's like feels long but it's over and when it's over you're like wow is it already over and it, i don't know yeah i just feel like fireworks mm-hmm. like these fireworks displays there's a reason so many people come out and they're like they've got something going on that like no other art form does and it's like yeah. it, it seems like it combines art in like a very classical performative and maybe even like maybe even close to i guess like art in museums it's like art and museums combined with sports or something yeah. like it's like both yeah so. uh, i almost was gonna go to a movie last night i was thinking about it mm. and that was while i was watching the fireworks i was like trying to i decided i was gonna try to remember some fireworks or something but it didn't really yeah. it didn't really work because now i'm just thinking i'm like what were the specific fireworks and you don't you don't know like minute to minute what's happening so it's like you gotta live in yeah. the moment I know I couldn't tell you I mean it's like oh it started out with like a, a brown blue <laughs> yeah. one and then there was like a sparkly one and maybe one that like dripped a little bit like down or yeah. I mean I can't remember any of that stuff I know there was like one that really sort of seemed like it was coming out at you but I don't remember where that was and like it's barely a memory at all really yeah. it's like it's one of the most temporary scenario. forms of, like, uh, I guess, like, appreciative art, which is pretty cool, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's also a good time to, like, get a little romantic, too, yeah. during the fireworks. Very romantic. Oh, it is romantic, yeah. I definitely saw some that I had never seen before, like, kinds of fireworks. Mm-hmm. And what, those what, ones, what, I, what differentiated them from the other ones? Like I, I feel like I saw some smiley faces, but they were like sideways. Like they were yeah, not. I think that's the uh, right way. You're looking for that. Yeah, I just it was oh, just yeah. the certain ones I had never seen before. Like I, I can remember certain fireworks shows that I've been to definitely, but like there I specifically know that there was ones that I hadn't seen before in this one because when I saw them go off I was like wow yeah, yeah. I saw one that looked I, like I Saturn said, I said ooh I said ooh yeah ah uh, yeah there was ones that scared me yeah why you thought they were gonna hurt you <laughs> yeah I was a little afraid. The ones that like drip down into the ground, I'm like a little afraid they're gonna start actual fires. I actually, Peter and I were in Eastern Washington one time and we went to a fireworks show over there, and it literally started fires on the far bank. Ooh. Ooh, what happened? Yeah, they put them out with fire extinguishers. I think they were prepared for that. Hmm. I didn't hear of any bad things happening last night. Oh. Hey, Peter, talk to Peter. Somebody, we saw somebody. Uh, we were driving by this bridge and somebody had jumped off the Hello? bridge. Cedar. I the phone. Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm okay. I think Maribel's talking shit about me. Really? What? Like what? She's like gathered around this table with a bunch of other people, and I think she's talking shit about me. What is she? What would she be saying? You want? Uh, there's some I don't. I mean, I can't there, imagine though. anything she'd be saying about me because I haven't done anything wrong. But I feel like she's saying stuff. Um, just like general things? I guess that. I don't know. I'm not what, over there. It's like across you, the patio. What are you going to do about it? I'm probably, I don't think I'm going to do anything. I'm not really like a confrontational kind of person. You're just going to let it slide? I, I think I'm just going to sit over here and see. Oh, yeah? You don't want to? And kind of, I'm going to like squint my eyes a little bit. If you, I mean, I'm doing that right now. Yeah, that's probably the best way. For, 
Forgiveness. And yeah. living well is the best revenge, I think. No, 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 no. Revenge and and <laughs> yeah. anger is in revenge just... and living Wait, well. Wait, sorry. It just sounds like you guys are just mumbling. <laughs> oh, I said I think living well is the best revenge. Yes, right. Uh, so true. But I prefer That's to hold advice. grudges forever. That's really good advice, Ken. You should be like a self-help person. I am one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Can, yeah, I'm doing it right now. Yeah. You can call me daily. <laughs> You're doing it right yeah. now. Whoa. I used My to, I used to try to tell people that I would give them advice more often, but I don't. Now I just don't think anybody's gonna call ever. But I used to say like, <laughs> yeah, I used to call. I will give you advice. I, I think I, I practiced a lot. At this point. Yeah, I know. I think yeah, you're like a pro. Yeah. Well, what's going on in the studio? We're here with the mountain boarders. Oh yeah, Mountain Boarders! Hey, we're uh, munching on some pasties. You guys are parading around with your boards? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you didn't, you weren't there, Cedar, last night. How was your 4th of July? Making a scene. Uh, it was pretty good. It was full of fireworks and driving and July. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see uh, a professional fireworks or uh, amateur, I guess? Oh, uh, we, saw, we saw it all. Yeah, both? All yeah. kinds. All kinds. Alright. I didn't light any off of myself. I used to really love doing that. Like, that was like my favorite part of mm -hmm. the holiday. But this what year, happened? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it's like youth. But, uh... Goodbye. I don't yeah, know, I don't I know why I just stopped loving exploding things. No, I'm afraid... I guess I'm afraid maybe that is youth, right? It'd be one year before. Uh, Goodbye. Now I'm afraid. Okay, of... maybe. Not likely. What? Hey. <laughs> What's not likely? Uh, having a good night. <laughs> you, th you think you're going to have a bad night? I don't know. You know, you like sometimes there's just these things in the wind that you feel like are looming up against you. Yeah. Like when you're on the sea in a ship and you're like... Storms are brewing. Are you feeling that? I'm feeling it a little bit, kind of. Yeah, just a little bit. You no. know, when there's like a lot of people staring at you in the distance. It's just weird. People are staring Like at you're like a celebrity, <laughs> but like not in a good way. <laughs> uh, people are... There's a word for yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Are you infamous? People are staring... I think, I mean, I'm glad you guys aren't here because... I kind of get the impression right off turning everyone against me. Oh no. <laughs> I'm. I got your back, Cedar. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. It's all yeah. gonna be fine. I'm just being dramatic. Okay. Mm. I'm a little, getting a little scared. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you should try to work. If you feel on that, you should work at turning that around for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, how many minutes are you deep? Uh, we have about 20 minutes left. You know one thing, though? Oh, wow, you're right in the thick of it. Like, it's not not a, like the best thing, but people don't care about other people that much. I like, know, it's, it's, it's very true. You go to the people place, don't care about even, like, pretty much anyone but themselves. Yeah, so it's like, people are like, oh, I'm worried about what other people are going to think of me, and it's like, they're probably not going to think it's anything about to, you at all. It's have, <laughs> like, like, drama. Good or bad, I'm yeah. happy to contribute. I'm happy to contribute to the drama, like a little, in like a small way. Sure, you know? yeah. Because usually I'm just like a drama. I'm observer. here for it. I'm here for it. I like, I like the drama. This is the but place if I can, if I can do my part and just contribute a little bit, then you know that's fine with me. Yeah. That was like last time you were here. We were looking at the, uh, at that fire. And <laughs> what a fire! Mm, there was like a fire down the street, and Alex said, like, I don't like it when people look at the fires. But now uh, I have yeah, an excuse. I love, I love, yeah? <laughs> I love fires. You have a, not, not totally true, Alex? Uh, I think, oh. Huh? Uh-oh. Is that the mountain borders? Yeah. That, <laughs> so hard to you know, yeah, yeah, that one maybe. Gotta get one. The iPod. Oh, it's off. It's, oh, oh. I don't know. I think my point was that the compulsion to go and view others in their time of distress is kind of a sick one that I try to belay. Uh, how can you...
Oh, oh, there. I do like to see carnage as much as the next person, just not people like in distress being hurt. That's not fun viewing for me, yeah. typically. Uh, <laughs> Well, what what are you are you at a party? You're at a party or something? We're just at the crypt. Oh, okay. Nice. We're on the patio. Yeah. Nice. It's it's yeah, it's not really a party. It's just like chilling. Yeah. Well, it's a party at the bar. Um. <laughs> is there a show tonight? Huh? Is this the mountain board or you guys are quiet? Oh, sorry. Is there a show there tonight? All I heard was the word tonight. Is there a show there? Oh, yeah, there's tons of shows. There's a... <laughs> there's a July 5th and Hot China and the Trick Candles at uh, the Voyeur. Uh -huh. By the time a lot of you hear this, the show will be over, but uh, you should have gone. <laughs> Something got easy. Viewers. Boys, do that. And apparently there's something that McCoy's Freddie says. Mm. Mm. You can hear it. What's new in the world of plant science? The world of what? Plant science. Oh, plant science. Um, we're just, you know, plugging along. It's not a lot of, there haven't been any like, big breakthroughs recently. We're just sequencing some more genomes, figuring out what proteins do, doing like figuring out what plants look like and how that's related to what the proteins do in a, like a large scale and that kind Whoa. of thing. Nice. That's good yeah. words. Same Cedar, old, old. Cedar is the uh, resident botanist or for the program. He's the official program botanist. If you have any plant questions. Oh, wow. Nice. You have any plant, botanist. You have any plant questions? Yeah, hit me up. I'm trying to come up with one. <laughs> yeah. Right? This is a no hard rush. On the spot. You're just like, uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I wonder how our how's our plant doing back there, Jen? There's like the the vine, whatever it's called. It's alive. It's alive. That's good. <laughs> I wanted it. No, it's a it's a. What kind of? Ask Freddie what kind of plant it is. He knows. These vines. Or you know, it's the same what? one. It's that I'm vine. We've had it back there for a long time. Oh, the dandelion? No. Oh, the pothos? Yes, I think. It's a kind of like viney and it hangs from a basket? Yeah, yeah. That's the one. I think it's a pothos of some sort. I think that's it. Banana. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um... Yeah, uh, well, you, you see a, a big firework? You see the professional ones? Or just uh, from the third? Huh? <laughs> you see any other fireworks or just from the third? Did we light fireworks sure. from the crib? Yeah, did you? No. All right. <laughs> you have all your fingers? We do, yeah. That's, I do, yeah. All good. ten. That's good. All seven. Uh, All right, about toes. Yeah. <laughs> um, we talked to. I want to ask Freddie. Is, or you want to? You have anything else you want to say? Freddie's in the. Freddie's in the bar. He's coming this way though. Do you want to talk to him? Yeah. Here's Freddie. Hey, I think we're gonna go back to my house and watch Stranger Things. Ooh, how's the production going? Real good. I figured out some presets. We're on TV for a bit. Maybe in the still in the letterbox, double letterbox thing. But we're we're coming back with a vengeance. It's gonna look good. Damn. You wanna you wanna stop by and say hi? You have 15 minutes. Yeah, maybe gonna grab some of those chips. Yeah, get the chips. They're here. So make an appearance. All right. If you're leaving All right, soon. See you later. All right, 15 minutes. Okay, bye. We're gonna get an Uber. Whoa. We don't have a vehicle. No vehicles. Wow, Uber, huh? I've never done that before. All right. Uh, you, tell, you can tell us about Uber. All right, make an appearance. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, Freddy. All right. Freddy and Cedar, the botanist. Oh, yeah, we didn't ask him any plant questions. Couldn't come up with a plant question. I don't have them. I usually, uh, 
uh, usually I have the question and then I call him. I don't have the. Uh, I'm not, like, it's not that it's like there, but today he was just there. I don't remember. I think last time I was asking him about um, if if potatoes are are like dogs or like uh, um, li if they're like if they're like chihuahuas and dalmatians or if they're like lions and house cats. Like like yellow potatoes and red potatoes, you know. Like, could you could you breed them together, or are they different species? But I don't remember the answer. Oh, crossbreed potatoes. Cross them, it's yeah. like yeah. Could you are they are they the same species of plants so that you could combine them, or are they like not? They're like far enough away from each other, but. I asked Cedar about that like that was probably years ago. That's a good botanist yeah. question. Yeah. They should be in the same phylum. Yeah. For sure, for sure. I should I could have asked them the exact same question and be like, yeah, I know you answered this exact same question maybe years ago, but you answer it again because I don't remember what it was. Yeah, plant science is crazy though. Yeah. Like you could chop off a limb from one tree and then graft it to another and have two trees in the same tree. Yeah. yeah like that kind of up, stuff is a crazy. I grew up with a three tree, a three parter. It had lemons, oranges, and grapefruit all on the same tree. Wow. The orange part died first and then the lemon part ended up dying next and then it only did grapefruit by the end. Mm. And then now it doesn't exist anymore. It was, str the, it was struggling to keep up its like extra parts. It was My dad has this view, since he lives in Arizona, that if it dies when it freezes there, it doesn't have any sense living. So the stuff, yeah. that, the stuff that dies, he just leaves it dead. Mm. So like he would just hack those pieces off the tree when yeah. they would finally die, and he would just went with it. Yeah, that's probably good. They're huge. They were like... Boom. Yeah, and then that big, huge cactus. That the thing is Sora. so sketchy. Yeah, that one in this front yard. Yeah, it's just like waiting to take out Dude, the vehicle in front. So scary. <laughs> it's like it's like this big at the base and fucking like this big at the top, and it's like twenty it's like feet tall and kind of leaning one way. Mm. Uh, is it sharp? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Mm. It's really heavy too. It weighs like a couple thousand pounds. Whoa. And that's a small one too. Like, they get up to 60 feet tall. And their base is always small? No, my dad just, uh, he did, like, really good research on where it would grow the best. And so he put it under a shade tree and right next to, like, a water source and all this stuff. Well, he did it too good because the pool drains out right there. Yeah. And it super grew, and so the base is, like, tiny. Oh. And it grew, like, what it would normally grow in, like, 20 years, it grew in, like, 10 years because of the way he did it. Whoa. And now it's going to fall Wait, over. Yeah, one day, like, your dad's going to be covered in spikes? No, the, the vehicle's going to just be dented in. Oh, it's that? It's, like, big yeah. enough to dent a car? Oh, yeah. So if it fell on a person, it would, like, Oh, you're, crush. So, you're done. If it, one of those falls on you, you're so done. You're, like, crushed and spiked at the same time. That would be so... It'd be the <laughs> most horrible way to go. Yeah. Um, here's Mr. Ginsu left a message. Ooh. So. Damn. 340 bucks. Chick paid for insulin in the United States. Mm. She got it for $30. Political. Canada. Oh boy. Healthcare. So, at what point? At what point? Uh, uh, yeah. Does it become robbery? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Somebody walks up to you and asks you for money on the street. They give me your money. Give me some money. Yeah. Um, and if they won't go away, you can shoot them. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. Who with you? And you think you could shoot people so who are asking you for money? When them motherfuckers no, if they're trying to rob you, though. Oh, yeah. $340 for something that costs $30 or less. Way less. For cheaper because they can sell it for 30 so They yeah. can make it even cheaper than that. Oh, they do. So, I think they could have some markups for them. 
Um, at what point do you start shooting the people making the fucking uh, rules about that? That's a good moral question. That's a good... Uh, First place. Good one. Um, Is there an economic threshold the at which it's okay thing. to kill somebody? Like I think is what he's getting at. Way back. When do you start shooting? I think you're <laughs> supposed to start campaigning. And you start shooting. Get through 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody needs to stand in front of firing squad. For yeah. that shit. Right. If people die because they couldn't get insulin. Yeah. Yeah. And you was flying them. Now it's now you're killing people. Yep. Yeah. And now you're not only a thief, you're a murderer. Uh huh. And you think that because you get you can charge whatever you want or whatever you believe the market would bear. Yeah. Uh well I believe I could be option of shooting your ass. Yeah. For thievery. I think it's a straight up robbery. Yeah. Straight the fuck up. And the insurance companies yeah, are involved white, in it. White collar oh. crimes, huh? Straight up robbery. Uh, yeah. The Whenever price... they said insurance is the law, and now yeah. you have to have insurance. Yeah, the price is connected to insurance. Whoever them people was started the robbery. Yeah. And now. Oh, uh, got timed out. Mr. Ginsu is like always like back and forth between the the wings. <laughs> like that's like very I mean left. That's kind of left wing wing kind of. Thinking about like free or socialized healthcare or something. I feel like Mr. Ginsu is a libertarian. Yeah. Um. Like the insurance, like it's so expensive because if you have insurance, then they pay for most of it anyway. So then, it's like, you're not even paying for it at all unless you don't have insurance. Uh. Very depressing topic. Yeah. <laughs> Healthcare. Uh, it's calling back, I guess. Anyway, Mr. Ginzu, talk about something cool. Yeah. So, uh, socialized healthcare. Uh. It's the blah blah about the politics and economics and stuff. Yeah, Mr. Ginzu likes to talk about economics and stuff. Maybe we'll ask him about what he did on the Fourth of July. Ask him what about morality. Yeah. How about fireworks? What'd you do on the Fourth of July? I'm gonna keep it at small talk. <laughs> what's your What's your yeah. favorite fair food? Yeah. <laughs> I had a snow cone. Hello? You had a snow cone? I had a snow cone, Mr. Ginsu. Did you, when was the last time you had a snow cone? Mm, a little kid. Yeah, what would you do for the 4th of July? I worked. Oh. You see, work, work, work. Yeah, you see any fireworks? Um, no, I didn't see any. Heard them. I didn't see them. Mm. I heard I was them. Sleep. Yeah. Trying to sleep. But yeah. it wasn't working. We're here with the uh, mountain boarders. Hey. Hello. How many fingers do you have? <laughs> Plenty of pot. Uh, how many fingers do you have? Still, still got all ten fingers? What the hell did you just do? The... But we have the uh, computer failsafe going still, so... Uh, you got the failsafe. We got the failsafe. It <laughs> appears to be going still. I'm looking over there. That's why we have it. So we're all good still. Did, did Freddy set that up? Um, I think it was collaborative, yeah. Uh, did it take 30 fucking seconds? What? <laughs> exactly. It's a, exactly. Uh, yeah, the failsafe is going over there. I'm, it's still moving. I can see it going, yeah. So we're good for that. Uh, what are you doing now? Smoke a pot. Excellent. We only got five minutes left. You're uh, exercising your legal, legal right. Yep. 
don't smoke a bar. That's yeah. very good for your health. It's good for my fucking mind. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep. The, Mine too. The neighbors, the neighbors keep it, you, it, they keep it, you awake with the fireworks. Not my direct neighbors, but my long way away neighbors did. Yeah. 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 There was like not big enough shit that kept me awake. Yeah. I had to get up at four o'clock. You had to get up? Oh, you gotta go to sleep? Go to sleep. No, I don't have to. I, I did. I got up at four o'clock this morning. Oh, yeah? Uh, what about tomorrow? No, I don't work tomorrow. I'm off. All right. So you... I work at the end of the day, and I'm like, mm -hmm, I get some money. Yeah. And they let me do some other stuff today. What? It's quite fucking different and fun. What was it? I don't know. <laughs> what? What? I, I can't say. Mm. Uh, not stacking or punching? No, not, not, not even close to like that. Um, oh. Paperwork? I, I, I was closer to a fireman with his hose than a fucking... Yeah, are you talking in riddles? <laughs> well, there you are. There yeah. you are. Did, okay. Was, uh, were you freewheel burning? I'm trying to describe it without fucking describing it. But yeah. he, admit, uh, he, won't, he doesn't want to tell us what his job is. And How you fast were you faster washing? How fast the fast you've been on that 40 years just hauling out down the uh, dirt road? Uh, I don't know, but I did meet up with a kid the other day who was like, yeah, I know what mountain boarding is. I've ridden with you before. And he was there the day that I was doing a lesson and I fell and broke my arm. And he remembered that. And I was like, oh, that was you. And he was like, yeah, I remember that. You were the teacher? Yeah, and I fell and broke my arm, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm a hell of a teacher. Oh, yeah, what happened? What? Did, they, did the the students have to call the ambulance? No, no, no. My, I snapped my elbow and I like grabbed my board and went back up the hill and the kids were all like, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? And they wanted to talk to me and I was like sitting there in a lot of pain and I, they, I didn't want to make the kids stop riding, but I was like, yeah. my arm was like fucked in half and so I was just like, keep riding, get away from me. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't want the kids to know, I didn't want to let them know that I had broke it. I didn't yeah. want him to run home and be like, Mom, I had fun riding a mountain board, and the teacher broke himself. Yeah. <laughs> you played it off, though? Did it work? I played it off. Yeah, the kid didn't know. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I knew you were hurt. I didn't know it was broke. I was like, yeah, good. I was like, so I was like, get out of here. Keep riding. Did, did you okay. have another class, like, later on when you had, like, a cast or whatever? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I ended up getting a cast, yeah, on my right arm. It was a fucking pain in the ass. But, you know, when you, when you break your dominant, dominant side, you get yeah. good with your non-dominant side. How was it? No. Huh? Good. We're good. All, all Everything. Motion? Yeah, it pops once in a while, but we're, we're good. I'm ambidextrous. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes. What do you yes, do I left? Am. What do you do left-handed? I do both of everything, left hand yeah. and right hand. You can write. You can write left-handed. I, I can't. No, I don't. Hmm. I only write right-handed. Can you play piano with both hands? But, um, I, whenever I'm at work, I use both hands, yes. Yeah. You know, it, sh sh learning to shoot pool with my other hand ended up helping me in the long run win games after that for a few years. Yeah, I get the angles. You know, I yeah. fucked up my arm and fucking had to play pool one-handed. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I was pretty fucking good at it, one-handed. Oh, we got a yeah, message me too. in the future. We're getting down to it when we have a few minutes left. We're going to record a message of the future. Fucking It's fine. your favorite thing. It's fucking gotta. Fucking get on with it, motherfucker. I, I fucking, will. Down drop kicking your okay. <laughs> hey, future, it's us, the past. Hey, future. Hey. Are you fucking positive of that? Yeah. It's, yes, sir, yes, sir. It's the 5th of July. I saw something with paint. Coming out of their mouth? It sure ain't the 4th of July anymore. It was... I know, because they let off fireworks all night long. 
It was fireworks. Oh, Up till fucking damn near midnight. You have anything to say to the future? Oh, oh, uh, the future is is gonna rock. It's bright. Bye, future. And don't forget not to not break your arm next time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's only the second time I've broken that arm, so. Only the second time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, must not be a third, because you'll uh, remember to not do it. That's right. Yeah, gonna, roll, roll instead. I want to call my grandmother before we leave, Mr. Ginsburg. Hey, get the fuck out of here, hoser. Thanks for talking. Talk Keep leaving those messages. We'll talk to you later. Bye, Mr. Ginsburg. Yeah, we're going to be going into overtime a little bit. I'm gonna call grandma real fast. I think my brother might be there actually, so maybe I'm just gonna have to, he'll be, he'll, he'll be fine with not saying too much though. We uh, had a lot to say today. We'll yeah, get to yeah. all this stuff. And Mr. Gintu will go f for the whole hour if we let him too. Those are a great episode. Hi, Kenny. Hi, grandma. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. And uh, I'm doing a hair. Yeah, he's working. Did you see any fireworks? Huh? Did you see the fireworks? No. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, drink water. Okay. Drink water. Huh? You drinking water? Yeah, I drink water. Okay. Oh, just a minute. Under here. Oh, he is? Yeah. Under here. You talk to under here. I don't know why. I forgot. Yeah. Here. Talk to Kenny. Oh. What? The show's over. Show's over. Goodbye. Bye. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, you can just watch the credits, Jen. There. See? Hey. <laughs> it's uh, Friday. Let's go. Ooh. Snake. We're on uh, TC TV channel 22, 11:30 and 2 a.m. Check that out. Yeah, whitehwm.com. Three six zero three six four three four. Call and leave a message. Get on TV. Yeah. You leave a message and you're getting on the TV. Well, I did have number three. It's our address. Show up at that address and you might get on the TV. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. Yep, yep. TC TV, La Bebe, Jordy Fabulous, Graham Graham, South Park, Condon, Mobster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you and viewers. It's you, you're watching, thank you. Yeah. You viewers are awesome. Yeah. Keep watching the show. Doing it. Hell yeah, yeah dog. dog. Hell yeah. Bye. Try mountain boarding.